Lazarus fish, you call me, as if I rose from the dead after millions of years. It's true I slid off your radar, under the waves, where I've always been, spending my days in the warm sea's twilight zones, in caves out of the way of swifter currents, where the gaze of the sun wanes to a thin glow. In night's darkest graves, I swim out among the lava cliffs. If he sees me at all, I'll be the lantern fish's last sight. No one who beholds my body blue and iridescent has words to tell the gods on land with tongues and pens. Only when I strayed into a trawler's net, was hauled up and thrust into the foreign realm of air and sky, was I heralded alive. Only when caught in the fatal gaze of the world stage, with the indigo fading fast from my scales, was I proclaimed returned from the dead. Um, um, this one's called Mother. The octopus has three hearts and a soft body in a world of shelled mollusks and bony fish. She makes remarkable sacrifices for her young. Pregnant for months, she'll keep the eggs incubating, tucked inside her, until midwinter when she knows the time is right to find a lair. She looks for just the right stronghold in the rock she can fold her soft self into, where the ripe cargo of eggs tucked into her mantle will be as defensible as possible against the fish who would swallow them. She must keep vigilant, always. The night is young when she begins laying them, her young. Tens of thousands of eggs she threads right after another onto spun strings. One by one, she'll keep gathering them like pearls into delicate clusters, <coughs> soft chandeliers that treasure hunters might fish out of a wreck. She fastens them to the ceiling. It takes her a month or more. She doesn't hunt, doesn't eat. For her, the only task that matters now is tending to her young, blowing water gently over them, watching for fish, never leaving. The decaying gray of her skin isn't right. She watches the eggs, thousands of grains of glass, softly sway in her currents until her siphoned breath can no longer keep steady. It's said she may eat her own arms to keep alive. It's almost over. With her last breath, she blows her eggs again out of their parcels into the ocean. Their soft bodies are perfect, each one drifting and pulsing, so young, and already so adept.